All right then, so we're on the site. This is a uh, converted farmhouse in progress. The reason I'm talking to you today is I'm going to show you some death watch beetles, sort of damage it can cause. And also I've got some white rot damage um, so that you can have a look at um, a wet rot outbreak by a white rot species and see the sort of damage that does to the timber. Okay, let's have a look. First thing we can do is have a look at this lintel. It's severely infected by, uh, if infected by wet rot, but also death watch beetle. Um, I'll just show you the sort of damage Death Watch Beetle can do and also the white rot. Have a look at this. Here's the lintel supporting that window opening, timber. You can see there we've exposed some decay. Let's have a look at how bad that is. If you look on here, there's very little evidence of flight holes. There's the odd one there. They're quite big. You can see it's about three or four millimetres. And those are actually the Death Watch Beetle emergence holes. So now we the probe the screwdriver and we find there's nothing left, it's just powder behind there, it's just a honeycomb, a honeycomb of damage um, and you see the typical very gritty frass that's caused, okay, if we just follow that along, the top edge of this lintel has been attacked by wet rot and when we pull it out we find actually the damage to the timber is complete, it looks, look carefully at that, almost like I don't know, rubbing tobacco or something, there's nothing left of it. The there's no cuboidal cracking or anything, look, I can scrape it out. It's just like lint, nothing left. And that's because the lignin and all the cellulose, just wipe your lens there, the lignin and all the cellulose has been taken out, extracted by the fungus. So the Death Watch beetle has been very happy because it's in decayed timber, which is really what it prefers. And of course, the damage is complete because of the effects of a white rot. So we've got a white rot, that's a wet rot species but in the white rot family. There are a number of different species and I can't tell you what that is because I can't see any fungus, I can't see any uh, fruiting bodies or anything like that which I'd use as an aid to identification. But really, it doesn't matter what species it is. Wet rot's wet rot. <laughs> in this case, I've just shown you it because it's a white species and I wanted you to see the damage. This typical linty sort of friable material, there you are, nothing left at all of that. Death Watch Beetle and a White Rock.